All right, welcome to BC Sen. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, um, please click the sub subscribe button. It helps us um, watch the videos, like the videos, share the videos. Uh, we need to get as many watch hours as we can. So, um, trying to monetize the network so uh, it'll help us continue offering this uh, as a free service so we are here at Vanport uh, this is Beaver Friendlies for Varsity um, the first game was Beaver versus Hopewell and Beaver won 6-1 to one, I believe it was and they were able to get in uh, 6 innings so they got pretty much the entire game in which is what the goal is here, to get these reps. Um, this game here is Beaver again, and uh, they will be playing Western Beaver. And I, I never streamed their games uh, last year, um, so it's uh, pretty cool to finally see them on the field here. I don't know many of the girls. Um, I do know a few... Um, but uh, yeah, this uh, this should be a fun game to watch. You're looking at the uh, triple view, so these are all three angles on the screen. And I offered this to be sponsored um, by a business, and uh, I was um, it was jumped on right away, so. Anthony Aniline, it's a real estate agent. Uh, he offered to sponsor it, so hopefully um, the next time I have games, I'll I'll have his information on this screen, and whenever I'll show this three panel, um, his information will be on there. So, Western Beaver is in the field, and I don't know these girls. Um, I do know Western's main pitcher is Emma Bagaki, but I'm not sure if that's her or not. The shortstop for Western was actually a Beaver girl. She played her youth career here in Beaver and then she moved off to um, Lincoln Park and they also play softball or Lincoln uh, plays softball with Western so looks like I'm gonna have to fix my camera shift it over a little bit there's a hit right off the bat grabbed by the shortstop nice play Let's see if I can get that replay. I think I missed it switching over. But it was a nice play. Nice hit. Someone is doing this on Game Changer, which is nice for me. So that's Bella. Call it Triano, I believe her name is. She made that nice play at short. The pitcher is Emma Bagaki. And I will be doing an interview with uh, Shay Shaw. She's in center field. She agreed to do an interview. And then Maddie Sika, who's at first. She will also do an interview with a network over the winter break. I got to move this over. This view is bothering me. Oh, it's a 
pop up. And that's gonna fall in front of the fence. And she's gonna go three. She's in there. That was a long fly to left center in the warning track here. One hop the fence. I think she had a nice hit last game, too. There's another hard hit. Off the fence. Over the fence. I think it might have hit the top of the fence and bounced over. That was a line drive all the way out. Nice hit. All right, so just like that, Beavers up two to nothing. So now batting for Beaver is Taylor Young. She was she pitched last game, started to anyway. I don't know what she's going to do this game. There's a strike. Emma Bagaki, she, I don't think she started pitching last year, but when she got the opportunity, she really proved her value. And towards the end of the season, she was firing on all cylinders, looking good. Took them into the playoffs. Western does play in 5A against the teams like West A, South Fayette. Uh, who else is in there? Moon. And they'll be interviewing their coach, Coach Hannah. There's a swing and a miss. She held up her swing air outside. Foul ball. a bone play. It's going to be foul. So they do have the lights on. So that helped this camera out. The end of last game, before they turned the lights on, the, uh, the lighting wasn't very good at all. Ooh, strike three. I don't think she has much to complain about there. That was right over the plate. Yeah, it was a nice, nice place. Called strike. Looks like Emma has settled down after the home run off of Sammy Springer's bat. There's a, another swing and miss. Missed it looked like the umpire called that outside. 
Wasn't by much. Two twos to count. Those are good spots. You know, you, you don't want to put anything over the plate. You want this girl to chase at something. Full count. I don't think she wanted to throw it there. All right, so now as a pitcher, you got to shrink your strike zone here. And like that, strike three. Real nice pitch. Good job. All right, we'll take a short break, and we'll be back with Western batting. All right, oh, M7 Sports, they are our main sponsor, our, sponsor, our uh, scoreboard sponsor um, at this age, so this is important. Um, they are a sports agency, and they help girls with recruiting services. Uh, they'll do hype videos, professional photographers. Um, they will help with brand building, um, help the girls through the name, image, and likeness services. Um, so there's a lot of opportunities out there for uh, student athletes. And M7 Sports is leading the way in our area with helping these kids um, take advantage of whatever's out there. Uh, my daughter signed up for it, so she is one of their um, players that they have. So leading off is Izzy Lefavre. She's a uh, real good player for Western. I think she's a junior this year. There's a hard hit. and they're going to call that a foul. a foul ball to two and two count I was watching the El Equipa game in between games here They're, they were tied up with Armstrong oh with uh, Armstrong I saw someone post that said that the Armstrong quarterback is a problem I know he's a young kid. His daughter was a, or I'm sorry, his sister was a, was a good uh, softball player that just graduated. 
There's a ball play. Short makes the play at first. Nice play. This is the replay of that. Didn't have very good contact. That is the first out. And this is Bella Calatriano. I'm probably butchering that name. But there's a hard hit up the middle. It'll be a base hit. So that's the first base runner for Western. Who we got up here? I'm looking at Game Changer. And this is uh, Shaylin Shaw. She actually played at Hopewell for, uh, I think it was her first year, her freshman year. And then she came out here to Lincoln Park and had to play with Western. And I believe she originally came from West A, I think. Might be wrong. Maybe it was Montour. I think it was Montour. Yeah, she played on Montour like in the seventh and eighth grade, then moved to Hopewell, and then started going to school at Lincoln. Good ball player, though. I think she committed somewhere. I think I saw something. Oh, there's a hard hit. That's off the fence. And it's gonna score one. RBI double. She smoked that ball. Swing and a miss. There's a ball out of play. Back to the pitcher. Nice play there to get the out at first. Watch the replay. I think she should have checked the third runner on third a little bit longer. She just went straight to first. 
So you got to check that runner. Oh, wait, the runner was on second. Yeah, she still needs to try to freeze that runner to keep her there. It's not as bad being on second, but if she was on third, you, you want to give a hard look to that girl to freeze her. And Chase Shaw committed to Slippery Rock. I knew it was somewhere. It's another thing with with me doing this. You know, I want to I want this to be a stage for the girls, so I have to keep an eye on stuff as far as you know, things going on with their commitments, where they're going. You know, it's uh, to do this the way I want to do it. I need to keep my eyes open, so Social media is a, a friend of mine, for sure. Called Strike. Name, but uh, Zeely, I remember her being a key player last year for their run. Not only behind the plate, but uh, also batting. There's a ball in play, it's popped up. And Sammy grabs it, it's short. So Western gets one back. So after the first inning, we have Beaver winning two to one. So Brady's Run Fitness, um, they have a gym in Brady's Run Park. And uh, it's a privately owned, no contracts, open 24 by 7. Um, they have, uh, you know, free weights, weight machines, cardio stuff. They also have trainers on staff and they have lessons like boxing lessons and different things like that. Um, they also do a lot for football. And the hidden secret for softball is they have a, a small area in their back that's uh, turf and also a batting cage. So if you're looking for some place to work out in the gym indoors, check them out. There's a ball in play that's popped up to second baseman. Gets the out. All right, so that's one out. We are in the top of the second. strike. 
so. Foul ball. Missed outside, not by much. slow nice block by the catcher there's a hit off the fence and she gets in at second so nice play to get it in Didn't miss by much on the home run. There's that foul ball. Ooh, that almost caught that ump on her. I don't know. I think it did. It's one of the reasons why I stopped umpiring. It just wasn't worth it back there. Those foul balls hurt. Of course, I was doing 10U and 12U which just makes you an open target back here. There's a foul ball. Called strike three. Another long look by the batter. Body language, that, that just doesn't look good. Got to hustle off that field. Missed high. Swing and a miss. Called strike three. Right. Let's watch that replay. And we'll be back with the top of the third. Beavers winning two to one.
So one of our sponsors is the fenceclip.com. Um, I use their stuff to hang all my cameras and things. Um, their product is made real good. They're, it's all made in the USA. So the support is great. Uh, the guy who owns it, his name's Gary Truesdale. He uh, donated one of the clips I use to the network. <clears throat> so I try to push um, all the traffic I can. They, you can hang phones, GoPros, Mevos, everything with his stuff. And like I said, it's well built, very stable. So, foul ball. This is uh, Maddie Sika. I hope I'm saying her name right. I don't know if it's Sika. Might be Sika. That sounds better. I'm going to go with Sika. Foul ball. And uh, just today, she agreed to do an interview. Um, with my podcast over the winter so it'll be pretty cool there's a swing and a miss drop the ball tagged her out that'll be three out or three strikes Pitching for Beaver is, what's it, uh, geez, I think it's Jaden Brown. I think that's her name. This is a new girl here for Western Burba. I don't know who that is. I don't know if, if she's a freshman or if she maybe she just didn't play that much or Maybe I didn't recognize a name. I don't know. Swing and a miss. She looks comfortable in there, so she's she's played some ball competitively. You can see it. It's a change up, but she popped it up. It's foul. Definitely not a pitch that you want to hit. There's a swing and a miss. Strike three. There you go. Hustle off the field on a strikeout. That's what you want to do. Good job. These girls need to learn, man. Body language means so much, especially if you want to play the next level. All right, so this is Tom Kowski. And I don't know the first names. There's a ball play that's popped up to first, and that'll be the third out. There's a replay on that one. So, after two, we have Beaver up, two to one. We'll be back, their uh, sponsor break. Yeah, so um, talking about M7 Sports again, um, I know with Macy being one of their clients, um, they're going to make her a uh, merch shop. So she's going to have her line of uh, sweatshirts and jerseys with her number and name. 
and uh, maybe some personalized um, logos or whatever she does. Uh, but uh, they work with her and put up a shop for her, and people buy shirts and stuff, and uh, she'll benefit from it. So it's pretty cool stuff that they do at M7. And uh, these girls are at a perfect age to to check them out and see if there's something that they can do for, for them. And M7 is growing a lot. They're picking up a lot of athletes, soccer players, volleyball, basketball, football. A couple big names in football um, signed up with them. So they're growing, growing quick. This is a new name for Beaver that I don't know. Tabone. Her first name starts with an O. I'm trying to think of a name that starts with an O. Bubble. Olivia is the only one I can think of. Sorry about that noise. I'm moving the mic around. Kind of bummed that my new mic didn't work. I got to figure that out. Miss Low, ball four. Beaver gets a base runner. Nobody out. See if they can manufacture another run here. They're going to throw down to first. I was snoozing on the jaw there. This is uh, Kenzie Springer. She uh, She's a pretty good hitter. I think the base runner got shook up a little bit on that dive back. I can't really see what she's doing. Looks like she's getting back on base. Yeah, but uh, Kenzie Springer, she can hit. I remember she had a real nice hot streak going through the season last year. I remember seeing her name a lot. There's a ball and play to short. Or not third, grabbed it. Nice play. Holds her at second. Yeah, I thought that was going to get the shortstop at third. You know, that's her ball. She goes and gets that unless she can't get to it. And shortstop did the right team with uh, covering third. So it was a nice play. There is a runner on second with one out. Kind of a hard hit like that. You uh, would like to try to get that lead runner. But I don't, that might have been a hit and run too. Who knows? There's a pop up. And that is going to be caught by third. So that'll be the second out. All right. So up. Next is Jaden, Jaden, Jalen. Wait, this is Sammy Springman. 
thought it was her. There are two outs. Game changer was a little slow updating there. Nice block by the catcher. That saved her from going to third. Nice job. Yeah, those those are the finer details that uh, separates the good teams from the great teams. I guess that was a real nice catch. Diving effort by the second baseman. What I wanted to say, the details like this. All right, so we're going into the bottom of the third with Beaver up, two to one. All right, here we go. First pitch was the ball. Let me bring up game changer here. Let me follow it. Missed high. This is another Tom Kowski, so I'm assuming they're sisters. They actually look similar. I wonder if they're twins. This is a cool fall night. There's a call trick. That was a take all the way. There's a swing and a miss. There's another swing and a miss. Strike three. So we're back to the top. Izzy the Fabre. I always say her name wrong too. My daughter told me how to say it a couple times, but I still butcher it. Sorry. There's a nice change up there. And she's going to be safe. I don't know if you would book that in a book as a hit. I mean,
mean, that would have been a really tough play for the pitcher to make that. So I think that's an infield single. This is the second batter, Bella Kellett. Kellett Triano. She had a single, her first at bat. If I remember right, it was right up the middle. There's one out, runner on first. Shows bunt, it hit her. That's a dead ball. She's out. Yeah, so that when you bunt it in play, it can't hit you when you're in fair territory. And that was just a, that was a tough, uh, a tough bunt there. It was, put it down. And uh, she needs to go back to first. There she is. So there are two outs. And Shay Shaw is up. Big stick here. I'm sure this is a big opportunity for Western to tie it up here. Called strike. So the Beaver center fielder is literally standing on the warning track, and I don't know why but there's two outs you want to take away that short hit make her beat you deep deep there's a foul ball out of play I mean I understand backing up a little bit but not on a warning track you're giving her you know 20, 30 yards of grass. There's that change up. It was a little high. Yeah, this is uh, interesting strategy here. This high again. Pitcher got to be careful throwing high ones. It's an easy way to elevate one out of here. There's a hit. And it's going to be a fair ball. Nice play by the left fielder. And that's an RBI double. Left fielder. I missed the replay on it. She dove for that. She went all out. All right, so that ties the game. 2-2. Two -two. Brings up Emma Bagaki. It's a foul ball. There is high school football going on. I can hear, I don't know if it's Beaver cheering. Pretty loud. There's a hit. And that's gonna be caught by the right fielder and that'll end the inning. See a replay on that one. Nice play. All right, so after three, we're all tied up at two. We'll be back with the fourth after a uh, sponsor break.
Okay, so this is our NFL survivor poll. And this is what I hope to be our biggest fundraiser throughout the year. And I'd love for it to grow every year. Um, right now we have 60 entries, which makes the winning pot 360. So if we can get five more entries, I'm going to make the winning pot $400. So all you need to do is pick one winning team in the NFL every week. The catch is you can't pick the same team twice. So if you pick a winner, you move on to the next week. And if you pick a loser, then you're out of the pool. So if you're interested, and of course it helps support the network, um, you can sign up at survivor.bcsoftballnetwork.com. And like I said, if we can get five more entries, the winning pot will be $400. So with we have another week. We should be able to get that many. I would think. That money will help with uh, equipment upgrades, monthly fees. Ooh, where's a hit? That's going to be over my head. Home run. That was a shot right over my head. Wow. All right, so that gives Beaver the lead. What's going on? Oh, looks like we're ready. Just high. Just outside. That missed high again. Ball four. Looks like my camera moved here. Well, that stinks. Wonder if the home run did it. I'll have to fix that in between innings. There's a nice bunt. Out at first. And advance the runner to a second. Smart softball there. So with one out. Beaver has a runner on second. I just found there's a way to invite guests. And I don't know what that entails. But that would be pretty cool to do. Might have to play with that later.
It's actually getting a bit chilly out here. I was complaining when I was setting all this stuff up. I was complaining how hot it was. Swing and a miss. Two, two's the count. Oh, got past the catcher. Base runner's going to get the third. I'd call that a wild pitch. Catcher's been doing pretty good back there, but uh, can't get them all. There's a play by third baseman. Nice play by first. Gets the out. Nice stretch. So that'll be two outs. There's a hit, foul ball. I think this is the fourth inning. Of course, I have the third inning. Missed outside. So, good waste there. Trying to get her to chase it something. There's a foul ball. Gives her two strikes. One ball, two strikes. I like how Emma pitches. She is really good at hitting spots. Looks like it creeped over to plate a little bit. That was a nice pitch. That was hard to lay off. That was right on the numbers or letters. Missing by much. He called that one a little outside. So we got a full count. There's a hit foul ball. It's a nice at bat. Good uh, battle between these two here. Strike three. All right. So that was the top of the fourth. So we'll be back with the bottom of the fourth with Beaver leading three to two. So last year I started a podcast. The reason why um, when I started this in August, of course, I did fall games. And then come November, I realized that the network traffic or the you know the traffic on the website and the, and the uh, network itself kind of died off because there was nothing to watch, no softball. So I decided to start this podcast and... Uh, it really was popular, and uh, um, it's back. It'll start in November, and uh, I'm doing a lot of shows um, on the players. So 
one of the things that was asked was to do more player interviews. So this year, I plan on doing 10 of them. And uh, I'm uh, asking the girls now to get commitments from them. And we'll start recording the shows here in middle, end of October, and uh, start releasing them uh, starting in November. Um, should be pretty fun. Um, the uh, first show is going to be what's called Travel Softball Then and Now. And the idea is for me to interview several um, softball figures in the area that have been around for many, many years and uh, give us kind of a, a view of how travel ball was years ago and how it is today and uh you know pros and cons things they like things they don't like that kind of stuff uh, so it, it should be fun um i need to get a couple commitments from the few people i have in mind but uh once i do i'll announce that show but it should be pretty fun pretty interesting there's a five ball I'm not a big fan how travel is nowadays. There's entirely too many teams. The talent is just watered down. Tournaments or, you know, when you're playing games that are only three or four innings long, um, it just it just saps the the quality of the game out. And I'm just not a fan. You feel like this is all more of a money grab than actually developing these players getting them into college at least for those who want to go but imagine if you're playing travel uh, softball you know 80% of those girls do want to play softball in college swing and a miss drop the ball gets the out at first it's a good play Drop third strikes are always tough. <coughs> tough. That first baseman needs to give her an inside target. I'm sure that's something Coach Amy will talk to them about. But when that ball is in foul territory, you got to switch up, and give her something in foul territory, so she's not risking um, throwing the ball and hitting the runner with it. Looks like this camera shifted too. I wonder if something happened when uh, that home run hit. There's no warning or anything. So you might have missed a batter or maybe a particular play. But like if I can raise enough money and get that uh, upgraded network, I'll, I'll show a picture of it. I don't think I showed it yet this game. I did it last game. Um, but that'll, when one signal drops for a second, um, another signal will pick up and it'll save packets so I won't lose anything. It's a ball played. Second, gets the out at first. Runner advanced to second. Looks like she fell, but she's okay. I think she was laughing on the ground. So there are two outs. Runner on second base. There's a foul ball, I think. Out of play. Yes, out of play. It's getting damp, so I'm sure when that ball hits the grass, it's going to get wet.
first game tomorrow is at 9.45, I think. So I'll be here tomorrow. I think I have four games. And then Sunday, I think I have two. I might do three. There's a hit to short. Makes the throw. Throws it in the dirt. Nice pickup by the pit or by the uh, first baseman. It was a low throw. Nice dig by the first baseman. Good job. Okay, so we're going to go to the top of the fifth with uh, Beaver winning 3 2. Right, so BCSN on demand is all the games that I do live are recorded and saved on the YouTube channel. So you can go back and watch any of the games that I stream. And if I have issues with the live stream, I can I record the game locally, so I can upload it as well. and watch as many games as you can. There's a ball hit to first and I missed it. Got through the infield for a base hit. So there's a, another base runner for Beaver. But yeah, one of the things I want to do is monetize the YouTube channel and also Facebook. So, um, one thing that helps that, of course, is subscribing to the channel. If you haven't already done so, please do. Um, but the other thing is watching the videos. And the more you watch, the more uh, what they call watch hours I get. And I need 3,000 watch hours in total. Um, I have enough subscribers. And what that does is give me what's called super fans or something not real sure of that Foul ball. but the next thing next big thing would be a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours and that will uh, monetize the network with advertisements and stuff and hopefully sustain the network itself and uh bring to you all this for free there still is a runner on first there's a lot of stuff going on over there second baseman the coach runner on first on deck all four Right, so we have, there's a swing and a miss. Look at game changer. So we have first and second, nobody out. Shows a bunt, pulls back. One thing about Beaver, they put a lot of pressure on teams put the ball in play a lot there's a missed bunt got a bunch strikes unless it's a squeeze play you gotta 
bunt strikes. You can't bunt balls. So you know that's strike three. So that's the first out. Those little details. I always say this. It separates the great teams from the good teams. Called strike. That one missed low. That was a strike right over the plate. Strike three. That was a big out. That's two outs. First and second. That was uh, Kenzie Springer. She's a pretty decent hitter. And of course, my inning's wrong again. It is the fifth inning top of the fifth beavers up three to two good game miss slow nice block by the catcher she's working hard back there There's a ball in play. Get the out at first. Got her. That'll be three. So watch the replay here, but uh, we'll be back with the bottom of the fifth with Beaver up three to two. So one of our sponsors is Headbanger Sports. Um, Jeff Plumer is our official bat rep for BCSN. So if you're looking for bats or need any softball equipment, reach out to Jeff. Um, he also has a lot of other stuff. Um, Headbanger Sports has pretty much all the equipment you need. Um, he's also a rep for Richie Bats. And uh, you can get one of those heavy trainer bats um, they're called camoid bats, um, but this is the uh, same, same type of thing, only it's a little cheaper through Jeff. Um, the Richie Bat Company, they also, also offer that heavy trainer. Um, I actually got one for my daughter. And uh, what it is is it's heavier on the hands, so it doesn't make the barrel feel heavy like if you're swinging a sledgehammer or something like that um, and uh, it really works on um, strength is one thing and the other thing is girls who like to um, cast I think is what they call it uh, when, the, when they're swinging a bat with their hands far away from their body um, this bat 
kind of with a weight in the hands, it really forces you to keep your hands closer to the core of your body, um, which is how you want to swing to, you know, compact that uh, power. Um, so it, uh, it's called a heavy trainer bat. You can get them at Richie Bats and just reference Jeff Plumer. Um, and uh, like I said, they, they, they work. They're, it's the big thing nowadays. I recorded my daughter swinging it, but uh, I wanted her to do some voiceover, but we didn't get to that yet. She's busy living a college life. There's a ball play. Third picks it up, throws it in the dirt, and the first baseman couldn't handle it. I'm not sure. It just wasn't a good throw. It wasn't a bad throw. I think I might give an error on the first baseman on that one. So there's a base runner. That's the tying run on, on first. And I want to say this is Izzy. Let me pull up game changer here. Another ball in the dirt. Game changer is behind a little bit. Let me look on the... Yeah, we are at the top of the order. Izzy. I'm not saying her last name right now. I think the B silent. Is it a fever? I don't know. I'm terrible with names. I wish everyone can have a name like Bill. Ball four. So you got it. First and second. And this is fall ball. You know, and the girls are out here to get reps. But, come on. You want to win. Are you kidding? So Bella here was one for two. Whoops. Caught strike. She got a single up the middle. I don't know what she did her second at bat though. Her first at bat was a single. I remember that. Miss Low. Another catcher working hard back here. September 1st was a big day for Division I hopefuls. This was the first day that Division I coaches can reach out and contact to prospects. Uh, for the 2025 class. So it's a pretty exciting day for them. Swing and a miss, strike three. see that with Western Beaver you know they, they strike out they hustle off that field so this is Shea Shaw two for two 
crushing the ball. There's a ball up the middle. That's going to score the tying run. And they have second and third. What's going on? Shea, Shea Shaw is like in mid-season form today. Three for three. Three for three with three RBIs. So we have second and third with one out. Nice block by the catcher. I should have hit a replay on that hit, but I didn't. There's a swing and a miss. Missed outside. Swing and a miss. So Emma here, she's over two today. Just one out. Just put the ball in play here. Hit to the right side. Oh, swing and a miss. Got her. Hustles off the field. I like that. is their catcher. Missed outside. This pitcher, I think it's Taylor Young. She's she's doing real good with uh, keeping that ball away from the plate. strike yeah she doesn't throw anything over the plate very often strike two that batter's kind of forced to swing it anything over there because uh, that umpire's been giving her that corner. It's interesting stuff. Game. Game within the game. I'm staying out there, right? I was outside. A little bit too much. Keeping it out there. Full count. Now you gotta bring it over some. Foul ball. Now I, I ask myself, why don't I throw something inside right here? This batter won't be expecting it. High and inside. Ball four. Loads up the bases. Two outs. <coughs> Tie game.
called Shrike. This is uh, Maddie Sika, Sika, Sika. That's what it is, Sika, I think. Nope, outside, one on one. I'm okay with that pitch. She loves the outside corner. I don't know if that's uh, Coach Amy doing that. She lives out there. There's a ball in play. Slow roller to short. Gets the out. That will end the inning. And we are tied at three. And this will take us to the top of the sixth. Are we still playing? Yeah, looks like it. All right. So we'll be back the top of the sixth after a short break. Oh wait, oh, they're gonna call it, call the game. Well, it's tied at three. So uh, thanks for watching. And remember if you haven't subscribed, please do. Like the videos, share the videos, all that stuff.